Sometimes I have this dark nightmare. I'm right back where I started. Back undercover in another biker gang. Looking over my shoulder, waiting for the bullet that has my name on it. Except this time it doesn't feel like a dream. It feels real. A sweeping raid on an outlaw motorcycle gang. Dozens of bikers arrested from Southern California to Ohio. The charges against them range from drug sales to murder. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. I'm Michelle Tuzzi. This is the result of a three-year undercover investigation in which federal agents infiltrated the Mongols motorcycle gang. Eyewitness News reporter Micah Ullman is live in downtown Los Angeles with more on the sweeping raids. Micah? The federal racketeering indictment, the product of a years-long and intense undercover investigation by federal agents, L.A. County Sheriff's deputies, the Montebello Police Department, and Las Vegas Metro cops in what is being described by the feds as perhaps the single biggest takedown ever by the ATF. Agents this morning seized 86 firearms, including assault weapons, and five LAPD badges. A bust not possible, say the feds, without the undercover work of the four ATF agents who infiltrated the gang to become full patch members, undergoing rigorous scrutiny by the Mongols and during polygraph examinations. Four female ATF agents then went undercover, posing as the agents' girlfriends. Four years is a long time to live a dual identity. Uh, it was a very stressful environment, living that dual life, uh, not only for the undercovers, but for their families. Really a historical moment in law enforcement. When you look back at all the undercover cases in the past, you look at, you know, Donnie Brasco, Joe Pistone, you look at Joe Frank Serpico. Uh, this is going to go down in the history of law enforcement with these uh, ATF agents going undercover.